The only thing I've ever known for sure in my life is that I wanted to be on the first mission to Mars. This show explores the technical aspects of traveling to Mars, but it also is a really emotional and grounded show. What makes a way different than other space TV shows and movies we've seen so far? Well, um, thank you. Um, first of all, I think the thing is, is that um, most space movies or space shows deal with just space. Mm. <laughs> My dog has something to say. Her name is Moon and she's like, why didn't you go to the moon? So, you know, they're just dealing with like the, the actual space exploration or what happens on your journey there or, and this is actually a show about that as well as that gravitational pull to earth. Um, so it's a great love story between all the astronauts and their loved ones down on earth. It had this great combination of sort of epic scope of sort of telling this sort of very cinematic space story. And, you know, at the same time, combining that with this relationship story, you know, and that felt like is what separated this in terms of sort of NASA themed shows, that this is what made this one more unique is that it, it is going to spend a tremendous amount of time also focusing on the interpersonal. It's really not a space show. It's really almost a family drama, almost a workplace drama. It's amazing to read a script with such well-developed, well-articulated characters, and to be able to play one of those characters, um, uh, it's really a blessing. They need me more than anyone, and I'm not there. You think you're the only one haunted by the sacrifices you made to get here? <laughs> Hillary, this show takes a look at what all these astronauts had to sacrifice to pursue their dreams and their passion. As someone who works in a very demanding industry, how did you relate to that message of sacrifice? Very much. Uh, I, there was a, you know, it's, um, I think in order to pursue any dream and to see it realized, you have to be relentless in your drive and in your, um, you know, your, you just have to continue to persevere through all types of adversity. And I think it's one of the things that inspires me the most about uh, human beings is that that perseverance, no matter you know how grand it is or how little it seems, perseverance is everything. And it's just when you feel like giving up that you continue to push through that usually you break through. And I love that. And I know, you know, certainly I can relate to that as an actor who's still continuing to live my dream and what that means. Um, but I just have so much admiration for people like like an astronaut who um, is risking their life for for space exploration and um, it's very admirable. It's hard, you know, I mean, I, as a father myself and a husband, you know, it's, it's tricky to, you know, sacrifices that you have to make to, for your work sometimes. And it's, and once it involves your family, it's, 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 um, it's a struggle sometimes, you know, it's really hard to, to make that work uh, and make everybody, you know, feel like they have what they, they need in those moments because, you know, we're, we're, we are kind of, no pun intended, away quite often. As actors, that I've certainly made many sacrifices in my career. I'm often away from home for, for and my loved ones for huge amounts of time. And even arriving in Vancouver uh, for, 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 for eight months, um, I found uh, myself with this incredible sense of loneliness being away from my loved ones. But it's it enabled me to use that for the character because of all these characters, all these astronauts that are going into space on this, on this show, Ram is the character that is most lonely and has the most disconnection back on earth. So um, it played out in, with this amazing parallel, but almost a godsend really, because I was able to use it for the character. We're all scared, but it's about having faith in each other. Whatever comes next, we can take it on together. 